All right. <clears throat> what is going on, everybody? It's about fucking time that we got this glass in and we were able to finish off the set. So, we're going to check everything out. We're going to take us some dabs and take some shots. And I hope everyone is having a great night tonight because I'm pretty fucking excited. So, much love. What's going on, guys? Michael J. <clears throat> Dank Chronicles. Piranhas in the garden, guys. <clears throat> we got us some stuff. I was supposed to have this Christmas Day. I am, aside from how challenging this order was to get through with Semi, I'm still really excited, and I'm glad that it wasn't, like, it was a lot of trouble and a lot of stress, but it didn't cost me any more money, and I'm really thankful for that, because that probably would have been the straw that broke the camel's back. Like, it's one thing to wait this long and then ask him, like, hey, do you need more money to ship this out? Like, what is going on? And then have him feel so bad that he makes me extra stuff. If he would have asked me for more money, like, you know what, bro, I do kind of need that to ship out. I probably would have snapped at him. I tried really hard not to, and I did kind of, like... You know what, bro? This is getting kind of ridiculous. Like, I actually need you to make the stuff and get it sent out because we're way behind schedule. But I was never, I was never like a dick. I tried not to be anyway. Maybe I was, honestly. Terry Ebon, what's going on, fam? Playing. Okay, so Black Ops 4 Hardcore Team Deathmatch. Fucking A, I remembered it. I felt bad, bro. Like, after you came in that night, and I had no idea what you were talking about, after you wrote it out for me, I was like, oh, shit. We got my lady, baby doll Nico. Love you, Dom. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. We got... We got mail. So it's time to take a shot. It's time to take a dab. Chill out and enjoy the glass. And so... I have a photo shoot that I actually have to do with all the piranha plant stuff, guys. I have stuff that isn't even glass that is piranha plant-ish. What do I mean by that? Well, it just so happens that <laughs> Dom, aka Baby Doll Nico, made me, created out of scratch. Like this was one solid circle and she cut it open welded it together and painted it for me and so this sits on my computer watching over everything because it's dope as fuck so it's going to be neat to do the photo shoot tomorrow and actually take pictures of everything because i've been I've been waiting for everything to come in so that I could do that. And it's like, fuck. Months and months later. Let's, let's not start that up again. <clears throat> uh, Michael J says, that's hella dope. Fuck yeah, it is, bro. And so, again, that's sitting right there on my computer looking over everything. Um, I don't know why, but I have a very... I am very fond of the bad guys in Mario. I love Mario, and I think he's a dope uh, video game character. But in his universe, I really like the bad guys. So that was specifically why I had the Red Menace made the way that I had it made. So this is a piece that shows off the Piranha Plant, Bullet Bill, 
and then when I use when I use it, the ba bomb. So I have three bad guys right here, and then you could consider it's not official. But you could like consider my hoodlum from Porter Glass almost kind of like a shy guy. So I have like four bad guys from the Mario world right here chilling with me. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna add some to that right now. So cheers everybody. Let's go ahead and take a shot and then we're gonna take a dab. But, but uh, that's not what I was gonna say. That's just a burp. Before we take the dab, we're definitely gonna open this stuff up. Uh, you know what? I should have waited on the shot, too, because we have two shot glasses. So we're going to take one shot out of the blackened slime. Then we're going to take one shot out of <clears throat> the slime and moonstone, because that was one that he made. And then we're also going to take a shot out of the red moonstone and slime shot glass, because he that was the one he was supposed to make. He made the slime and moonstone one because he just wasn't paying attention to what I told him to do. And once I, when he sent me the picture for that, I was like, dude, that's beautiful. That's not what I asked you for. <laughs> and then I sent him the screenshot of him agreeing to make the piranha plant shot glass. And uh, he made it. So I'm glad because that's what I paid him to do. All right, guys, much love. It is 12, 13 Cali time. I don't know what time it is where you are, but I sure am glad that you're here. So let's drink some whiskey. Okay. <clears throat> is this everything I was kind of expecting a bigger package to be honest Boy, how do you wrap this up Getting down to the nitty gritty here. Stone teeth. Oh, that's fucking sexy right there, sitting on the banger. Eddie Salazar says, beginner dabber from Texas here. What's going on, fam? We are opening up a glass order and taking some shots and taking some dabs, so I'm glad that you could join us. Hope you're having a great night. Man, this is wrapped up like three different kinds of weird. So we have, we should have two shot glasses and a bubble cap stand left. Oh, nope, he kept one of them. So he sent me the red one. Yeah. Okay, so he kept the moonstone and probably slime one. Because, yeah, that would have been a bunch of free shit that he would have sent me. Which, honestly, would have been nice because he fucking lagged. And the slime didn't really come out on that either, but you know what? We'll take it. So we got a red shot glass with some moonstone dots on it. And he made this in a hurry. This was the last one that he made. Because what I wanted was a, repli a replica of the head. 
So you see how you can't really see those dots and they, they're very, very pronounced on here. This was supposed to be a red shot glass with secret white spots overlaid with moonstone and then slime all right here. But you know, that's okay because we got everything is finally here. So fuck it. We got it all. And the green pipe bubble cap stand with the bullet bill from the last Red Menace. Chillin'. So, to give you guys a comparison. This is the new bullet bill. This is the old bullet bill. So, quite a size difference. Everything on the Red Menace is bigger and badder and uh, just... God, look at that. That's just fucking sexy. You know, it's just sexy. So, we're gonna take a nice fat dab. Uh... So we need to we need to celebrate man three homies in the chat thank you guys for joining me we got piranhas in the garden and so all together that would make one two three four piranha plants because we also have So aside from all of that smoking stuff, we also have the head of the last Red Menace, which was made not only into a pendy, but if I really wanted to, would function as a bubble cap too. So we have the head slash mouthpiece from the first piranha plant. Right here as a pendy. And then we have the new piece. A shot glass, a bubble cap stand, and a bubble cap. Pretty gnarly set. Andrew Frazier, what's going on, brother? So... I'm I'm assuming that you just got here. We already got done with the unboxing. Everything looks good as fuck, brother. So we got the piranha plant bubble cap with moonstone teeth. We also got the custom slimy green pipe cap stand with a bullet bill circling around it. Gorgeous. We also got a red shot glass. And honestly, I'm probably going to give this away. We're probably going to give this away and on I'm more than likely going to have him make me another one and I'll, I'll just pay for it because this is sad and it's not what I told him to make. And it kind of fucking bothers me because that's actually something that I paid him money for. So it should have come out the way that I wanted it to. But that'll be something that I discuss with him. No big deal. We are still going to make big dabs happen. God, I love the way that that pipe stand came out. Fucking pipe stand, bubble cap, all in one. Just, ah, it's so beautiful. And the so what's awesome about this is that there are actually a couple different artists that I've seen that are making piranha plant bubble caps. So I am going to buy caps from other artists that are piranha plants. And I have the perfect fucking 
heady custom stand to put them in now. So I could actually switch them out and put different versions of piranha plant caps in there once I have them. I look forward to doing that and it's going to be fucking awesome and a lot of fun to collect different styles of piranha plant and different colors of piranha plant. You know that what we got to do next is a black and slime piranha plant. So we're going to have a black and slime piranha plant bubble cap. The shit is going to be made. Uh, let's see. Andrew says, I'll enter that giveaway. Need my first shot glass and red is my favorite color. Well, shit. You know what, bro? I might end up just giving this to you. You've been you've been a follower of the content for a while. I've act, I've made like two or three videos just for the questions that you ask, bro. Um, you know, why not reward faithful followers? But anyway, I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna take a nice fat dab. We. So I was gonna say, let's go ahead and take the rest of that. But that doesn't, that's not big enough. We need, this is a special, yeah, that'll stay on the dabber pretty good. So we're going to get into some baccio. Fuck, this live resin is, okay, so let's actually get it in the light. Crystals. It actually did focus for a second there. There we go. Look at that shit. Uh, let's see. I'm down to take a dab with you. And... Okay, so that, I will keep an eye out for that name, brother. Eddie Salazar says, got some Sherbert sugar. All right, guys, well, let's take a dab. Everybody that's got some, uh, that's not what I was going to say. That's just a burp. Get it ready. Yeah, why not? So that right there is what we're going to throw into the banger. And I thought we were going to have three shot glasses. We do not. We have two. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think that he was 100% on the last stuff here. Because, look. That looks like two different sizes for sure. So, uh... We got my mom in the chat, Shirley Fernandez. Hope you and Pop are doing good, Mom. Always good to see you guys. Love you both. Uh, Michael J says, yo, that looks super dank. Still dabbing on the Skywalker OG. Ran out of the Paris OG crumble, sadly. Andrew says, damn, dude, you're the best. If not, that's cool, too. I'm going to get in on some Ric Flair crumble. Okay, we're going to heat up the nail, guys, and then we are going to take this dab. Brother Andrew, hit, hit me up in the DMs to remind me. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and send this out to you. So that makes that makes two, actually, because I have this black and slime shot glass that I need to send out to uh, David or a.k.a. Dabstone. So that's going to be two. I got one for Andrew, and I got one for David. So I'm going to be sending these out to you guys very soon. Um, probably next week, because I need to get paid. 
and have some money to actually send it out with. But I will send it out to you guys. Um, Andrew, send me the DM with your address and all that good stuff. And just so that'll be a reminder for me. Ooh. This is just a dope, like such a dope fucking bubble cap. So let's take a nice fat dab. Cheers, everybody. Piranhas in the garden. Okay, so the condition is this. When you get the shot glass, you cannot take a, a shot out of it until you have taken a shot with me on a video call or something. So the day that you get it in, Andrew, you got to video call me or we got to set something up to where we have a video call where you and me take the first shot out of your new shot glass. That is my one condition. If you accept the conditions, then we will send you this shot glass. And I appreciate that, brother. You know, I have heard that I'm an okay guy. He says, deal. All right, good. Then hit me up in the DM. Send me your address. We'll get that sent out your way as soon as I possibly can. I need money first, so it's going to take me a little bit. But I, I will send it out when I can. All right, guys. Time to take a nice, fat fucking dab. And then we are going to take a shot. Eddie Marble. Oh, yeah. Cheers, everybody. so much airflow oh shit so guys this might be a pretty short stream I'm thinking we might only do like an hour or something Unboxings normally don't take me very long, and I'm not the kind of person that I like to make unboxings hella stupid. So, uh, yeah, we did the unboxing, we got the stuff, everything's good, it works. I'm very happy with that bubble cap, and now that I have the bubble cap stand. I can't wait to start getting custom piranha plant bubble caps from other artists so that we can switch up the color combinations. What about, because that's the thing, is even, even outside of black and slime, what about like a Wu-Tang piranha plant in black and yellow? Tell me that shit wouldn't be sick as fuck. Ooh, that's still warm. 
But yeah, life is good. God is good. We got dabs. We got shots. We got glass. And so, Brother Andrew, I can't, I can't have a shot glass enter my house and me not use it. So, your shot glass is going to have one shot taken out of it when you receive it. Ah, oh, man, that hell of drift. I hate it when it runs down the side like that. That's the worst. I was pouring just fine. Fucking bullshit. Okay, Eddie says, I'm just wasting my wax. I can't figure out these temperatures. Eddie Salazar, I don't know how long you've been watching my channel, but I have a whole playlist, brother. It's called Let's Talk. I, so far, have broken down almost every aspect of how to take a dab. And you can ask Brother Andrew because he actually requested a how to take a dab tutorial which i made for him i explain almost everything that you need to know about how to take a dab from what's the what's the best torch to use to what's a good time and uh i would just say go and check out my playlist the let's talk playlist and it should be able to help you out with most of what you're going to need to know to successfully take a dab. And if there is anything that I do not explain adequately enough or something that you still have a question about after you watch those videos, then feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or to send me an email and let me know. He says, yeah, I watched one of your videos yesterday. You said try 25 seconds on the heat and 30 seconds on the cool down and work from there. Yes. And so the shitty thing about that, Brother Eddie, is it kind of depends on like the, the I shouldn't say it depends. The type of torch that you have will have an impact on how hot your nail is after those 25 seconds. And I think I use the example like a camp torch is going to be different from a blazer. So 25 seconds with a blazer is a little different than 25 seconds with a camp torch. Camp torch is still going to get you where you need to go, but it's going to be a little different. So it takes some dialing in, in which case I highly recommend buying like a temp gauge or a temp gun of some type that's just going to give you exactly what the temperature is so that way you can experiment and know Oh, hey, I do like taking mine a little bit hotter. Mine's around like 600, 650. Or you know what? I like mine a little lower temp, and I like to have a puddle to reheat because I like to get them, them terps and that taste out of there. So I take mine around 550 to 500 degrees. It varies, and that's why I fucking hate that question because it's not something where I can just say this temperature and you're going to be fine because it's not. It has a lot to do with your personal preference and all the tools that you're using. So like I try my best to answer questions, but some questions are really hard. Uh, Eddie Salazar. So I would ask if it's hit or miss, are you, what kind of setup are you using? Like when you take a dab, are you using a bubble cap or are you using a directional flow, which is one of those things that you got to kind of turn and it us, it's a lot more flat. Because what where I'm having the disconnect is I'm wondering why it is that you're having trouble 
getting good dabs all the time. You're saying that you can get them sometimes, but not all the time. So I'm, I'm wondering what process you're using to take a dab. Uh, do, 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 do. Andrew Frazier says, I have no idea how to get huge clouds to this day. Uh, shit. Okay, so I got to catch up with everybody. I'm sorry. Michael J says, I was honestly one of the first videos I believe that got me started watching your channel. Well, cheers, guys. I'm glad that that video is helping people. Um, bum, 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 bum. Andrew wants to know, speaking of torches, what do you do about a clogged torch? Mine is going at about 75% at best. So, Brother Andrew, now that I am seeing that question, I would ask if yours is a blazer. And if it's a blazer, how long have you had it? Because I'm pretty sure that those have like a lifetime warranty. So if you were to say like there is an issue with mine, they might be able to fix it. I'm not totally sure because I've never had an issue with mine. So I've never had to hit them up about anything. I don't even think I have the fucking warranty. So um, don't quote me on that. Could just be shots. But I want to say that they're, they're built to last. Like I've had mine for... Uh, I'd have to deep dive my Instagram because I know that I probably posted the day that I bought it, but I've had it for at least a year and a half to two years. The clicker hasn't gone out. There's never been an issue. I've dropped it a couple times. It's always been on carpet. I never dropped it on like concrete or anything, but uh, never had an issue with it. It's always done a good job as long as I keep uh, fueling it. Uh, do Michael J says, or the one that teaches you to get huge clouds from a dab. I try, brother. You know. Um. So Andrew, if you don't have any idea how to get clouds, I would just say it's about the temperature. If you take them a little bit, like not crazy hot, but just a little bit more on the warmer side, you're going to be vaporizing more. So when you take a nice fat dab, take a little bit on the warmer side. And if you have the lungs for it, then you got clouds because that's the other thing. And it's not to put people down or to say, like, to laugh at anybody, but not everybody has the lungs for fat dabs or for huge clouds. Like, it's it's literally a biology thing. <clears throat> okay, so Eddie says no cap whatsoever. That right there, brother, is that that's what's happening. Because if you're, if, okay, so I got to fucking, I got to take the marble off that for a second. And this, so there's nothing, thank you for being honest. This is all a learning process. So, and I, I think I break it down in one of my videos, but I have no fucking idea which one it is right now. So I'm just, we're going to explain it right here, brother. The reason why you need a cap of some sort is that once you put your dab in there and it starts vaporizing, your nail is cooling down very, very rapidly. So what you need to do is you need to close off this big fucking exit right here for all the smoke to escape so you can create some convection heat and keep all that milk in your lungs instead of running out the nail. So what you need is a bubble cap. Specifically, if you have a nail like this and it's beveled, I would recommend to you a bubble cap. There are people that are going to say directional flows or spinner caps, but honestly, I really, really like and I personally recommend bubble caps. So anything, anything spherical, anything, uh, that's not what I was going to say. That's just a burp anything that has like a round bottom and kind of a nipple on it so you pop it on there and then you get that convection heat and you walk it around that way your dabs will move like basically what you're doing is you're moving your dab to a hotter spot all the time because if your nail is continuously cooling because something is on it then you need to move it to the hotter spot to vaporize it properly so as you're moving it around, 
you're getting proper vaporization of all your concentrates. Um, we got my uncle in here. What's going on, uncle? Thank you for joining us. Love you. Miss you. Uh, yes, I hope I hope that that was a good tutorial and a good explanation of why it is uh, a good thing to use bubble caps. And brother Eddie, if you have any questions, if you need help, bro, there there are no dumb questions. You know, just let let me know what what you want to know. And if anything, we'll do what we did for Brother Andrew. And we'll make you a fucking video. But you got me here. I'm live right now. Ask the question and I will answer it. Uncle, you came just in time. Mom, love you. Hope that you and Pop are having a good night. I know that he's never far away. I'm pretty sure that we got my lady, Dom. Uh, we also got my brother, Red. What's going on, brother? Uh, he says, yes, I just got here, but yeah, always have a cap. It changes the atmospheric pressure, which actually raises the heat. That's why your smoke appears more with a cap. Booyah, science for that ass. Thank you, Brother Red. Um, I was just saying convection heat this whole time, but he went straight scientific on us. So cheers, everybody. We're breaking in the new cap before we send it out to Brother Andrew. So uh, much love. Hope everybody's having a good night. Thank you guys for joining me. She is here. Thank you, baby. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even thought that you weren't. I should have known that you were here, so I apologize. Anyway, hope everybody's having a good night. Whiskey. Brother Andrew. I will say, I don't think that's a full shot. But we're going to send it out to you because I'm a man of my word. And I said that I was going to. So I hope that you enjoy it. And I hope that you take many new shots. Yes, Brother Red. It is a new shot glass that I got from Brother Sammy. But it's a little small. And so when I say that. I didn't ask him to make them two different sizes, so I'm not exactly sure what happened. But it has been officially broken in. We're going to take our last one out of my uh, slimy... Okay, so shit. Brother Red, you did just get here. The semi-glass order came in, so... That nice little slimy stem. And the bullet bill from the last piece on a slimy green pipe stand. So tomorrow... I'm going to try, I got some shit going on, but I'm going to try to get a little photo shoot in so that I can get all the piranha plants in one place, and it's going to be dope. And what I love, yes, recycled in the best way, absolutely, sir. What I love is that now that I have this stand, I'm. I, there are other artists that make piranha plant bubble caps, and I'm just going to get color variations like I, I brought i was saying earlier like how dope would it be to have like a wu-tang inspired one that uh you know is black and yellow that would be dope still with white teeth but black and yellow all around night uncle yeah i, I hear that i got off at 11 o'clock and i gotta go back tomorrow so <clears throat> you know, I'm thankful that my job is one of those essential jobs, which 
It kind of is. Me and Dom, we take care of crazy folk. Uh, Golden Walrus, what's going on, fam? We just got some stuff in the mail. I'll go ahead and show it off some more. We got us a nice little piranha plant bubble cap. And a slimy pipe bubble cap stand with a bullet bill around the back. Booyah. Pipe and piranha plant. Dope as fuck. All right. People got to have food, Uncle. Absolutely, you're essential. Golden Walrus says he's working a ton, too. Oh, shit. So we just got a bunch of essential motherfuckers up in here. Well, get some rest, Uncle. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Sure, we'll see you on the next one. All right, let's clean this banger. Pack another dab. What, she thought I was going to bed? It's only, it's not even one o'clock. Shit, I'll stay up fucking a dom until like three. Eh, like two. Eddie says, appreciate the info, y'all. I know a bubble cap is essential. Just haven't been able to buy one with all this corona going on. But I do remember taking fat dabs without one back in the day. <clears throat> so... You may have been using a titanium nail, which is a little different because those are made to work without caps because, yeah, they're just different. Um, I would also say that if you're... I didn't want to like get into like a quartz nail tutorial or breakdown, but... Since you're here, Eddie, it's possible that you were, if you're talking about back in the day, you you may have been taking dabs out of something like this, in which case, it, it was kind of possible to take, like, good sized dabs, but you also had to throw a lot of fucking meds in there. There's caps for these too. Like, you're supposed to put something on these too, but it's it's possible to get a fat dab out of it. Um, I would say, other than that, it was a titanium nail that you were dabbing on, but once you make the switch to quartz, you need a cap of some kind. And even titanium nails, like when you see an e-nail, an email has a cap. Uh, okay, so Michael J is going to get a globber. Let's do it. Brother Red says, that's what I was thinking. I'm probably red hot. I remember those days. Fuck yeah, I got... My titanium nails are chilling right there up in the closet. We come from humble beginnings. And that's, that's why I laugh. When people try and get all fucking glass snob and they're like, oh, well, be careful about that off gassing. Motherfucker, I used titanium nails for multiple years, like two, three years. And it was fine. It was fucking fine. At least like a year or two. Uh, I remember wasting a couple dabs off some cheap titanium nail. Well, at least, is, at least if you get a decent... And that's the thing. is You got to get a decent one. 
you got to season it. And there's like, there's videos that I watch that teach you how to season a nail and all that kind of stuff. But like, yeah. Uh, Eddie says the switch to quartz. Okay. It's all coming together. Yeah. So, and that's, you know, it's just having that history and especially brother red, he knows cause he's been dabbing as long as I have man's been a personal friend of mine for a long time. Um, but yes, like the different materials, they do vaporize a little bit differently. So I remember those titanium days as well. Ain't gonna see no titanium in this bitch, though. This is all glass, baby. So let's take a dab. Chef Life, what's going on, fam? We are just celebrating getting the last little pieces of the order that we had from Semi Glass. We got a Piranha Plant bubble cap, and we got a slimy green bubble cap stand with a bullet bill coming around and this is actually a bullet bill that was attached to the last piece so pretty stoked on how it came out now that we finally got everything i can take pictures and do a little photo shoot of all the piranha plant stuff that i got which i'm pretty happy about so yeah let's take a nice fat dab this guy, there's a lot of fucking air clearance on that. I mean, that mouth is, like, that's a lot of air clearance. Fat dabs. Let's go ahead and take one. Hope everybody's having a good night. Eight homies in the chat that I can see. We actually had quite a bit of my family in here. We got my lady at work. Hope you're having a good night. We are going to dab on the last of this fresh baked. I don't know if it's going to focus. Hey, it did for a hey, there. Oh, shit, it's focusing. What the fuck? Do your job, camera. Do your job. All right. So we're going to dab that. All of that. And then... Yeah, oh. <laughs> um okay so honestly bro what you can do like i wouldn't use this because it's got something on the bottom but if you have like a concentrate jar because this is this is a concentrate jar if you have a clean concentrate jar just something glass that you can cover your nail with when you're taking the dab what you want to do is when you, if so if you have to use something like this then just leave a little air space so that you have um some airflow still going through there but you could you could use that red says the spoon works wobble it back and forth to get air from side to side fuck i didn't even think about that so yeah you could use a spoon Andrew says a strawberry. So the only thing about a strawberry is then you're going to like it's going to take a little bit of cleaning. So you're definitely going to go through a couple more Q-tips than you would if you use the method. If you use that method compared to the method me or red recommended. But you absolutely could use a strawberry. Um, there's videos on it. Uh, but yeah, so the, the one that comes to... The one that comes to mind for me would be just a concentrate jar. Just get a clean one, boom. Make sure that you leave a little bit of airspace so that you got proper airflow and you're all good. Strawberry works with a turbillion. That's gnarly. Uh, Eddie says, finna grab a spoon. Be right back. There it is. And th so it's just to get you by, brother. And honestly, they, s so like if you're on a budget, they sell really, really cheap, clear bubble caps in most online head shops for what, like 15, 20 bucks. So you're going to spend maybe like 30 bucks altogether. 
if you're if you're in a legal state, even if you're not in a legal state, if you have a fucking head shop somewhere around you, there's probably a bubble cap that you can buy. And so super simple example of one, I actually have one, a super simple, clear bubble cap that most head shops will carry, even like tobacco shops and shit. If they if they have some kind of like 42710 paraphernalia, you're probably going to be able to find a really simple bubble cap like what I'm going to show you. That's all you need. So, as a comparison, here's a heady one. So, this is what I like to collect. But this is going to work perfectly. Actually, not for this one. <laughs> but most of them are made for, uh, what is it, buckets. So... Just make sure it's 25 millimeter and up. This what I I've had this for a long time, so it does fit some, but it doesn't fit all. Let me find fit this one. So like this would fit a thermal banger really well, but this is a full size 25 millimeter deep cup. And it's just a little too big for that guy. But my custom one fit just fine. And we're having us a good little glass tonight. All right. So I'm going to take this dab and then we're going to take a shot. Monk Davis, what's going on, fam? Um, okay, so since you just came in, I got to show you too. We got the Piranha Plant Bubble Cap. Came out pretty fucking sick. And the custom slimy bubble cap stand. All right, I got to check something real quick. All right, we good. So, since we good, we are going to take this fat dab. Then we're going to pour up one more shot. And we made it to an hour. We're at 53 minutes. So, we're at least going to stay for an hour. And, uh... And I'm going to check out because I got some shit going on tomorrow that I need to take care of. And I need to get up kind of early for that. And also, I got some food that Dom made me that I need to eat. So, got to try that out. Chef Life says $12 at my shop. Um, what, bubble caps? Okay, let's go ahead and warm up this nail. <laughs> That's not what I was going to say. That's just a burp. Cheers, everybody. Nine homies in the chat that I could see. I really appreciate you guys joining me. I need a fucking haircut, but everything is closed. So you get to deal with the mane just like I do. All this fucking hair, man. Just... Man, and then... <sighs> fucking ridiculous.
We may actually add a little bit to this dab to make it fatter. See, Monk, I, that's the thing, though, is I still need to have hair at the end. Like, I don't trust myself with clippers because I need to make sure that everything looks half decent. When you're not, when you can't cut your own hair and then you cut your own hair, it's obvious. And when you walk around, people are like, damn, that fool tried to cut his own hair. That's exactly how I would look. Chef life. Yeah, I need hair afterwards, man. Like, it's a, I'll, I'll spend the money because I actually like the hair to look a certain way. And I mean, it is what it is. It's not like it's going to fucking kill me. I look fine right now. I need to pack this already. Cheers, everybody. Yep. Take it right on now. Oh, shit. It took off on me, guys. All right. Solid cap. Uh, let's see. Okay, somebody don't touch my hair. Who's John? Piranha Plant Cap officially survived its first fall just fine. Look at that. Still got all his teeth and everything. <clears throat> uh, Monk Davis says, at least you ain't got a stone floor. Eddie says, the spoon worked so good. You just needed, yeah, you just needed a cap, brother, so... Glad that we were able to help you discover that tech. Happy dabbing. All right. I need to put this last tiny little bit in this jar, which is really nothing, but I don't like to waste nothing. Shit costs money. I scrape jars, son. I scrape jars. so it cracks me up to this day but when my hair gets long my pops the guy that raised me like the, the guy that i consider my father you know who he says i look like when i got this much fucking hair of all people john travolta he's probably saying it to my grandma right fucking now I love my parents. They're they're awesome people. I'm very blessed and I'm very thankful for them. But that that comparison always cracked me up. I was like, what? All right.
That okay. I love you guys. All right. Break it on the first dab. That would have been the second one, technically. What I like and what I need to get used to is I was looking for, like, what can I use as the handle to walk it around? But the opening is so fucking big. Even if I put my finger on the top of it to walk it around, there's still so much air clearance that it doesn't even matter that my finger's over it. So I just need to get used to doing that and then picking it up properly. But yeah, that shit would have been funny, huh? Break it on the second dab. At least we would have got it on stream. Okay, and I know that they want to see him, so let's go ahead and move my insignificant ass out of the way. <laughs> oh, you can. So, oh, so stretchy. Are you so comfy? Little wiggly butt. Everybody's watching you. You want to say hi? You just want to chill? Yeah, it's a comfy bed, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's just going to chill. It's a, it's a comfy bed. We got my lady saying the baby seal. That's what he reminds her of. And I will admit, once she said it, I was like, holy shit. He does kind of look like a baby seal. Lives a pretty good life. Dom, Dom just got him a brand new water bowl that like is gonna recycle the water and make sure that it's always fresh. Yeah. This little guy right here, he's got a good life. He doesn't really want for much. I don't have any kids, but Pretty sure that he, there we go, he qualifies. <clears throat> okay, last shot of the night, guys. So, if anybody drinking with me, get your shit ready. If not, cool. Much love. Over. Hope everybody has a good night. I'm going to eat some food and watch. <laughs> yeah, but no. And watch, I don't know, probably some more workaholics. I watched some workaholics last night. Still in the mood for some, so. I also need to get um, Samurai Jack. When I get paid next week, I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy the complete series of Samurai Jack. Because I didn't realize this, but season five was done on Adult Swim. And not just Cartoon Network. So, it's it's for the people that grew up with Samurai Jack and were ready for a more adult version of him. And uh, he's a fucking savage. Like when he's when he's killing shit, it's not just robot parts flying around anymore. Let's put it that way. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I recommend people go check it out because Samurai Jack is probably one of the best cartoons that you're ever going to watch. Just saying. Hey, for the red, it's got seasons four and five. So I could get, a, get me a sneak peek before I got them on DVD. And honestly, I just, 
my mom going to bed. Love you, mom. Hope you and pop have a good night. Thank you very much for tuning in. Would you mind staying for just another maybe like two or three minutes so I can take the shot with you? I just have to do this real quick and then I'm going to take the shot. She might be gone already, but maybe she's still here. <clears throat> Let's see. But yeah, I've been, uh, I'm pretty sure that I only have three seasons. So I want to see four and five. And I definitely want to see five. So eight homies in the chat. Go watch Samurai Jack. There's a couple of good ones. Seven Deadly Sins is a pretty good anime. Um, I mean, most people have heard of if they have not actually watched Naruto and um, what else? Attack on Titan. Those are actually so Attack on Titan is a fucking gnarly story. And I actually recommend people watching that in uh, what is it called? The subbed version. Not the dubbed version, but the subbed version. So it does take a little bit of reading. You might want to watch an episode or two, like twice. My mom's asking, what was that? They're cartoons, mom. Um, all just different cartoons that okay i need to shut up and take this shot because you guys want to go to bed sorry i'll talk about it later it's just cartoons though all right i got me some food to eat i hope everybody <clears throat> has a good night thank you guys for chilling with me we got piranhas in the garden this is a dope fucking bubble cap. And this is a fucking dope bubble cap stand. Ooh. So nice. So nice. All right, Chef Life. Yes, my mom and my dad in the chat. It's a regular thing. We had my little brother earlier. We have my lady currently. And if my mom is watching, then so is my dad. So we have a lot of people that are close to my heart hanging out with us at any given time. And it's pretty fucking awesome. So. Really appreciate you guys joining me. I'm going to go ahead and check out so that I can get some food and watch some stuff and have a good night before I got to get up and take care of some shit tomorrow. But before I do all of that, I'm going to take a shot with you guys. So, see that? That's whiskey. Brother Andrew, do not forget uh, to send me your address and let me know. Um, yeah, hit me up on the DMs. And send me your address. And so that's one of the reasons why I try to go live. I just need, like, on Instagram... I need to let you guys know when I am going live so that you can check in. And even on YouTube, like before I go live on YouTube, I need to send you guys like a text message or something and let you know that I'm going live. So I will try to do that more often. Um, that way you can see what I'm doing and you can see that I'm still alive because I don't like it that you guys worry. I don't want you to worry. I'm doing doing okay. And I apologize that I don't check in more often. It's just I get kind of busy. And Dom can actually vouch for this. I do a lot at my job. And when I'm not working, I sleep a lot. 
<laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just job has been taking up a lot lately, but hopefully new doorways and opportunities will present themselves. I got something that I need to take care of tomorrow that has something to do with exactly that. So hopefully it goes well and uh, we'll, we'll see from there. So hope everybody has a good night. Much live from the Central Valley out in Cali. See you guys soon.